YouTube channel in which I talk about personal finance and investing. Now today we will be talking about cryptocurrency market. I haven't been posting updates about cryptocurrencies for a while now because things have been developing so fast. Usually I just post quick updates on my IG story or on my Twitter account or share it with my students. So if you have been following me, you would have known some of my thoughts. And I think since the end of last year, I've been telling my students not to go into the market because we are expecting a bear market soon. And that's exactly what we are facing with right now. So many issues have been happening since May 2022 and now perhaps crypto winter is just starting to begin. So updates on what has been happening throughout May and June. So in the second week of May, Luna crashed by 99% after the Terra UST stablecoin lost its pack against the US dollar. So the Terra Foundation had to sell a lot of Bitcoin in order to uphold the pack, but still it failed. So it brought down the whole crypto market along with it. Bitcoin crashed below 30k to reach a low of 25k due to that event. And after that, we continue to fall further in June because Celsius recently also faced issues. So it had a massive loan with the Maker protocol and it is facing liquidity issues because it holds a lot of staked Ethereum, but now staked Ethereum is also losing its peg against Ethereum. So what it had to do is to halt activities on its platform and halted withdrawals, swaps and transfers. So those people who have deposited any type of crypto onto the Celsius platform are now unable to access their coins. So this has caused panic among the whole crypto community, causing Bitcoin to fall to a low of 20k. So because of this, now people are wondering whether further liquidations will happen. Celsius is not bankrupt yet, but will it become insolvent soon? Well, recently it has topped up its collateral on the Maker platform. So this brought down its liquidation price of just above 20k. Now I think it's between 14k to 16k, so it still has some breathing space left. It is not completely bankrupt yet, but a lot of people are losing confidence in the decentralized finance space already. And then a few days later on June 15, we have another problem. Three Arrows Capital, a crypto hedge fund based in Singapore, which once managed at least 10 billion US dollars investing those into large crypto projects, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, and Axie Infinity. Now they are facing insolvency problems. They also hold a lot of positions in stake Ethereum. But now Staked Ethereum is starting to depart from Ethereum as well and they are also dumping off their Staked Ethereum in order to pay back their loans. So they have hundreds of millions worth of loans on the AAVE and Compound platform which they need to repay and need to post up more collateral in order to prevent themselves from being liquidated. So we are seeing a lot of liquidations happening here and there and this may just be the beginning because all this is like we are seeing dominoes falling down one by one. It is something similar like a bank run in the traditional finance world. So when one person thinks that one of these banks would fail and other people are also starting to panic as well, then everyone will start to withdraw their money from bank A and because of that, other people see it, they also try to withdraw their money from bank B and bank C as well because everyone is just panicking thinking that banks will go down, that if they don't get their money out before other people do so, then their money will be gone. So everyone is just rushing to be the first to get their money out of the banks. So now this is happening in the decentralized finance space. In crypto, people are just trying to withdraw their liquidity as fast as possible and this is causing liquidations to happen here and there and now people are also fearful that Tron's USDD stablecoin will also depack from the USD significantly. And then MicroStrategy is also facing some problems right now because it also has a large position in Bitcoin, a large loan as well and it has to keep posting up collateral in order to prevent itself from being liquidated.
So whether we head upwards from here or we'll still remain in the bear market, there are still opportunities for you to make money from cryptocurrencies. You can still trade both directions. So if you're interested in learning more about the cryptocurrencies space, what are cryptocurrencies even for complete beginners or if you want to learn how to trade, how to long and short so you make money both ways, then feel free to reach out to me. You can drop me an email or even message me on social media because I teach people about cryptocurrencies including the trading aspect as well as on-chain analysis. Other than that, if you do not want to learn cryptocurrencies directly but you still want to enjoy the potential returns of cryptocurrencies, then I have a crypto property fund where you can check out as well. So basically this fund invests in property as well as in cryptocurrencies. So it is really unique because your cryptocurrencies are being backed by real property assets that have actual tangible value. So we know that property assets, they tend to appreciate over time because they can hedge against inflation. Property prices increase over time. So in this case, if your cryptocurrencies outperform, then you get the share of the cryptocurrency returns. But if it underperforms, then you will still own a share of the property that is backing the cryptocurrency fund. So in this way, you get to protect your capital no matter if the cryptocurrency market goes up or down from here. So where will price go from here? Well, if we look at the most recent low reach in mid-June, which is about 20k US dollars per Bitcoin, then we see that it is about 70% down compared to its all-time high of 69,000 US dollars per Bitcoin. So if we look back at previous market cycles, we see that Bitcoin can fall between 80% to 85% from its all-time high for that current market cycle. So now we have reached a low of 70% below the all-time high of 69k perhaps. Will there be another drop further to reach that total 80 to 85% drop? If things get worse, if we see more liquidations happening, that may be possible. So will we fall below 20k? US dollars, that is a very critical level that everyone is watching right now because about 20k was the previous market cycle's all time high. If we look at the Bitcoin Fear and Greed Index, now it is below 10, it reached a low of 7. Now, this is the first time that the index reached such a low level since the March 2020 COVID pandemic crash. Now from this net unrealized profit and loss chart, we can also see that most Bitcoin holders are sitting at an unrealized loss right now. So we are in the loss zone, which has only been reached in previous bear market crisis. So are we at the lows already or will things get worse? So we see that some crypto firms have already started laying off their workers. So Gemini recently laid off 10% of their workforce, citing reasons that crypto winter is beginning, so they do not need so much employees, they need to cut costs. And then we have Coinbase, which recently also laid off about 1.1k employees and said that they are now freezing hiring and examining their internal headcount. So as we see more and more layoffs happening, we know that this bear market is going to remain for some time. So whether or not this is the bottom and we are going to go up from here or this will remain as is, we will be at this market lows for quite some time, it is still yet to be determined completely. So we're still watching the critical 20k level, see if it gets breached or we can hold that firmly for now. So nobody really knows what is going to happen. I do not like giving exact price predictions. What I do is mostly watch different price levels and then make a decision based on that. But I mainly look at what is happening in the macro environment. Also now because Bitcoin market is highly correlated to the stock market as well. So paying attention to macro events, sentiment, everything will help. 
Now, what is different in this current market cycle compared to the previous bear market? So in the 2017 to 2018 bear market, it was because of excessive retail speculation. A lot of retail investors were investing their money in initial coin offerings, ICOs. So they bought a lot of shit coins, all those crappy projects, which today no longer exist. So that was the bubble back then, which crashed. But this round, this bear market, we are seeing a lot of problems faced by large institutions and funds and other types of companies, listed ones even, like MicroStrategy. So this round, it is a bit different. When we see even the large companies are facing these type of issues, could things get even more serious? I hope that you're still keeping well amid this bear market. I know it is tough. A lot of people are losing a lot of money in both the stock market as well as in the cryptocurrency market. But eventually things will get better and now we're just dealing with our emotions, how to preserve our sanity and stay cool, stay calm amid this bear market. But if you can make it through, then kudos. And the most important thing is to protect your capital manage your risks throughout this bear market so that you can still emerge well after this okay so if you like this video do leave a thumbs up and also subscribe to my youtube channel for more content like this on whether the stock market or crypto market or just personal finance in general all right thank you and i will see you in my next video